Black Lives Matter, Concorda, and that's a really powerful statement. It has made, it look, made us look at ourselves, which I think is good. Unfortunately, I don't believe we've come up trumps on it. I, I have experienced firsthand the racism of Irish people in my own constituency office. They mightn't see it as racism, but it is racism in the statements that they make that, of course, somebody else will get, treat, get better treatment because they've got, they're of colour and stuff like that there. And that, unfortunately, is what comes up. And you have to challenge that at every opportunity, every time it arises, because that's the only way that you can deal with it. But what has encouraged me is that the Irish people who are campaigning on Black Lives Matter are linking it to what we are doing in this state that makes a serious difference to how people's lives are impacted here. The linking of it to direct provision and the use of Shannon by the American war machine is very encouraging. It's a pity we couldn't extend it to this house as well. Unfortunately, we are not a tolerant society, and saying we are is sadly not true, and also leads to minimising the issue. If laws were all that was needed, we would be way ahead. Ireland would be a great country if it was based only on laws. Sadly, we need more than laws to ensure that we defeat racism in our society. Racism has been present in this House, and we have seen it over the last few years. It has also played a part in some members winning a seat here, even a member of the government. It may, it may not have been as blatant as some of the comments, but the intention is the same, to make political gain out of people's differences. We need to change the way that this House looks, and we must wait for elections to sort out this House. But it is within the grasp of this House to make sure that the Iraqis as a whole is representative of Ireland. So the three parties that are forming a government can ensure that the Shannon is representative of the country as a whole by appointing travellers and Irish people of colour to the House to give a voice to those communities. But it's not only for blacks or travellers to provide a voice for them. We must be representative of all the people in our community in this House as well. That is the most important contribution that we can make, is to ensure that no person suffers because of what we say or do and hear. And we should be intolerant of racism in all its forms here, and then we can have legitimacy in challenging it in our society as well. Thank you.